Western Air Group with a message for the Moiston and the Willora Brigades. We had a report of a fire near the corner of the Moiston and Willora Road. Could the Willora and the Maroona Brigades please turn out as soon as possible? And any private units in that area, could they also please turn out? That was Jonathan Coots, a uh, comms officer for Westmere Group, uh, putting out a call to for a fire call for Westmere Group with a uh, call for private units. Um, Jonathan runs one of the seven sub-bases within Westmere Group and every fire during summer will get that call for private units. My name is Bernie Frad, I'm the Operations Manager for District 16 and we're here today with Westmere Group which is almost the spiritual home of private units to talk to the, um, the group officer and the DJs about the importance of private units and how to see if they can support the group and other groups around the state in making sure that they're there for the long term. Rod Laidlaw, Rod's the new group officer for Westmere Group. Now Westmere Group covers about a million acres of predominantly farmland and grassland from roughly the edge of Ballarat right through to the Grampians. We have a, a very big private tanker network, uh, consisting of about 400 private tankers all up. So really, um, private tankers are the, are the backbone of our group. A lot of them are ex-CFA tankers, which is very important to our, to our group. Um, and they're still coming on board, they become available, um, private landowners are going by them. So, and a lot of others are just um, a truck not purchased and set up themselves. So rather than members having to get in their cars, come into town, get a truck and go back out, you've got a whole fleet of trucks at the ready, in paddocks or at properties, with, with people close by. Absolutely, and um, every brigade has a number of private tankers. On a total five end day, we'll, we'll run a scare at 10 o'clock in the morning, and the first thing that each captain has to do is uh, let the uh, comms officer and, and the group know how many private teamers and what are their lights or heavies are available for that day. So it should be known for total five end day, we'll come to the law, and Anthony Herb will say, okay, well, we've got uh, you know, 10 lights and 25 heavies available today, and that's on top of the CFA train. Right? And they're all crewed, ready to go. Bearing in mind that uh, you know, our group is predominantly cropping now, and the agriculture, it used to be a lot of land uh, grazing, but now it's mainly cropping, so we're probably, we ride in those summer months with a lot of machinery in, in paddocks, a lot of heavy stubble loads, hell of a fire risk, and uh, so every landowner has got at least one crop. Okay, I'm here with um, David Allen from Wandu, who's a Deputy Group Officer with the Westmere Group. We've already heard from Rod about the importance of private units to first attack. Um, now, Westmere Group do an awful lot of roadside burning and, um, and protection of their community. So Dave, what, what use do private units do for you? They're an integral part of private burning, uh, burning the roads rather, uh, burning the um, Westmere Group burn about 480 kilometres of roads every year. And at my brigade, Warren Do, we burn about 60 to 70 um, uh, kilometres. And the reason we burn the roads is uh, fuel reduction primarily but also the ecological benefits and another big added benefit is the training value for, uh, for, for young or new firefighters. So the use of private tankers is uh, really important to make all that happen in a, in a uh, easy and seamless sort of operation. Here with Anthony Hurd. Anthony's the captain of the Laura Brigade and, um, and a pretty key member of the Westmere group as well. Now, Anthony, is a um, haters in CFA have got a bit of a view that private units, they're rusty farm trucks, generally run by old men in shorts and terry towelling hats. Um, you've got a very different view of that. Probably couldn't be any further from the truth there, Bernie. Um, at Wallora we conduct an annual unit inspection where units of pumps are tested, uh, people give their trucks a run, so general roadworthiness sort of things are looked at. All the trucks have a UHF radio in it. Uh, so there is communication with the group. So uh, when fire calls go out over the group command channel, uh, people have got listening sets in the trucks as well, so they're yes. getting updates. Yes. So people know what's going on on the fire ground, so they can respond to yeah. We've heard from the Westmere group people about how important they see the private units are. Uh, there's a couple of brochures here, operating guidelines and the checklists for private units. If you need more information on private units, go into your district headquarters and you can get those brochures. Um, in closing,
critical that we are able to manage these private units. It does create a, a certain risk for the controllers at fires, but the benefits far outweigh those risks, providing you take the time to engage them, make sure they're part of your comms plan, part of your incident structure. And um, remember, everyone needs to go home safe. Thanks very much.